Hey guys, Alpha9 here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this new video. Basically, um, Diego Lino asked me about the settings in my open track and um, the beam tracker. So, this is gonna be the video for it. Now, keep in mind that this depends also on your hardware. I'm using a smart TV here, uh, 42 inches. And this is going to be different from one to another when it comes to how this is going to perform. So you need to keep this in mind and try to find the hotspot for your hardware. So basically, um, I'm using this for DCS World and for I didn't try it for Flight Simulator 2024, but will do now. I believe that it's the same settings. Uh, settings is gonna be maybe a bit different, but this is gonna be for DCS. But it's a general setup, so you can just take it and tweak from there. Now, when it comes to um, the beam tracker, you need to start with the calibration. Um, the way you oh, by the way, I'm using a Logitech. Uh, Brio 105 camera it's it's um, 1080p but it's a 30 FPS now I heard that the more FPS you have the more smoother you can run this I never uh, tried this but this is my camera if you have a better one I believe that you will have a better performance but it's not bad actually uh, and still depend on your settings so let me show you what's going on for the calibration you need to start with the calibration as you see right here you start with this you need to click you need to focus your eyes on the middle dot and then click it then to the left side right side top right side button and left side button and there you go this is how you calibrate it it's simple now for the general settings for me the head tracking filtering is 65 the gaze filtering is 49 but basically i'm not using the gaze it's um i believe it's too much to uh just use your eyes it's gonna be lots of movement and it will get you sick uh, as you can see here uh, make sure you your gaming extensions is enabled otherwise this will not work in games so keep this in mind for the head tracking yo range i have it 70 i was going between 60 and 70 but 70 is okay for me at the moment for the pitch it, it's 50 for the eye tracking responsiveness 50 eye tracking uh, Yo range 50. I, I believe that this will not work for me because I only use the head. But just in case you want to try the head and the eyes. For the overlay, it's disabled. Uh, I, I don't use it. You have multi-screen pointer. It's disabled. Mouse jumping. The mouse jumping, this when you enable it, it will just, the mouse will jump. The cursor will jump wherever you look. And you need to set a hotkey it's not our case in this video um, privacy filtering this is good uh, you can just choose blare or dim it's like uh, as you can see in the screenshots this is how it works so um, for me I don't use it now for the camera as you can see it's exclusive here exclusive means that the camera the the beam tracker will control the camera settings if you put it on shared you can use another uh, software to control the camera i tried this with nvidia broadcast it was good to be honest but i think too many softwares running around for such thing um, my camera placement is above my monitor here and it's uh, tilted minus 20 degrees for the performance make sure to choose high performance but may use more energy but i believe that you need it for the hotkeys 
this is the quick calibration alt c open tray and all this this is a self uh, personal preference you just uh check it out now here is the thing the open track first of all the input is I will beam make sure to choose this the output is free track 2.0 enhanced the filter is Excella or Acela I have no idea how to pronounce that now for the options um, I set my center with my joystick and the toggle with my joystick too this basically you center it's like recalibration re recalibrating it or setting it to the center point of uh, as it reset the the position of you in the game the toggle this is uh if you wanna make it make it stop running or keep it running this is also up to you sometimes i prefer to stop it in some cases uh for the output i have the yo as the yo the pitch as the pitch the roll i disable it i don't need it the x is x the y i y and the z is dead now for the translations i didn't touch anything here the game detection basically this is how you just add a profile here set it for example um the profile is dci.ini and you need to um click in here and choose your um game exe and that will make when the game start this will start <coughs> this is it for the filter this is gonna be also uh, up to you you need to check this out and set it up because it's gonna be different from uh, system to another so i have the smoothing at 1.5 dead zoom at the full and the position filtering one millimeter uh smoothing and it zoom at the full this is uh for uh the options for the mapping here the mapping here um for the yaw i'm using um 160 at 125 as you can see and if i start this let me start it to show you go to mapping and as you can see it takes a long range to um to turn to the side if you want it to be more uh sharper you just grab this and get it to here or maybe here and lower it down but for me i don't want a fast movement so this is okay for me and i don't to be honest i don't need to look at very sharp um angles no need i just want to make sure that i see all the controls in the chopper and that's it and the jet also i don't do uh pvp much also so i don't need to look up to find my target so basically this is working for me the more or the longer a range you have the smoother you go for the pitch it's the same um i have the isometric here because i don't want to when i just pitch down i don't want a huge pitch down uh, i don't need to look at my legs simple as uh, i just want to see uh, the monitors and the mfds and stuff like that and this is for the top pitch to look at the sky as you can see this is uh, a short range i can reduce this like here and it's gonna be more for here i'm gonna be doing a full range i don't need a full range still this is up to you and for the roll as you can see the roll basically is uh when you tilt your head i don't use this uh, for me you can try it the x basically the x is where you just move uh from side to side 
all your body this is how i make it to have a, a, sm a smoother uh, movement no isometric for the eye the eye basically is where you just uh get up and down i kept it the same i don't use it much for the z the z basically is where you uh, move toward or away from the camera basically if i move in to look at one of the mfds this is what's gonna happen as you can see i i'm using isometric here to uh, keep it different between coming in and coming out the above is the coming out or the zoom out the below one is the zoom in so basically this is it guys for the settings you can check it up and start from there making it uh work to, for your system now let me show you how it goes in the game and we are back in the game guys i'm on a multiplayer server and this is gonna be a multiplayer mission as i said before i set my joystick to reset and to toggle when i press the reset if i'm sitting straight and it's it's a bit weird on the on the monitor i just press the reset or the center key and now i'm centered for the toggle it's just gonna stop it from working and uh the other way now as you can see it's uh not bad it's smooth i just want need to look down see the controls maybe here now this is a bit i need more i believe if i want to start the chopper but for me i'm most of the time i don't need to look at this side right here maybe for the night vision only here and uh, yeah this is it for the top as you can see this is the range of settings uh my settings and this is uh, right side left side and uh this is it when you start with this it's gonna be a bit hard for you to uh adapt with it so you need to take your time and make sure you set things um slowly because you will not feel comfortable with it so make sure you start easy with it and go slowly if you want to increase the range or the speed the less smooth you set the more the less lag you will have for me it doesn't matter to be honest it's it's fine just like that and i'm doing good so let's take off and try to head to a target and try to kill it Now the nice thing about this guys that I can fire as you can see if I move my head to a certain point and fire the rifle as you can see it's firing at the place I'm looking if you if you want to uh, do this you need to a bit more range to the left and to the right 
and to way to do this let me show you Let me show you. If we go here and we go to the mapping for the yaw, you go to um, open the track AI, go to, to general, and go up and make sure you increase this range. Also, you can play with the filtering here the more smooth as I said will make more lag but let's try to go to 85 and see how it will go let me see as you can see now we have more range if I want to fire that way as you can see and also you can zoom in But it's not easy to be honest. So uh, if you want to shoot, just make sure you sit you sit in the CPG um, place and fire. Let me set this to 75 and this to 70. Save and as you can see, let's proceed with the mission. As you can see, it's smooth. Basically, it does not uh, lag for the uh, pitch. As I said, I don't need a very high pitch above, maybe a little down to see things and controls. But basically, this is it. Let me uh, try to... Let me try to add a bit more pitch down now this is gonna be from here the pitch is right here as you can see let me check as you can see now it's it's better with more range but yeah this is all i believe is a personal preference guys um for you to check it out and um set what fits more and works better for you so basically this is it guys for today's video i hope you find it useful please subscribe like the video if you have any comments any tips any questions leave it below until next time stay safe keep playing and we'll see you the next one peace